This next episode of Overworked History is about Jeanette Rankin, the first woman elected to Congress. Jeanette Rankin was born in Missoula, Montana on June 11, 1880. Her father was a Canadian immigrant, and her family was living in Montana searching for gold. Jeanette was the first of seven children. Soon after her birth, the family settled down on a ranch. While on the ranch, young Rankin saw men and women doing the same work and chores, but only the men had the right to vote in major elections. This inspired her to change that. Rankin attended the University of Montana, graduating with a biology degree in 1902. She moved to New York shortly after graduation and organized the New York Women's Suffrage Party and worked for the National American Women's Suffrage Association. She moved back to her home state in 1911 and became the first woman to argue for women's suffrage in front of the Montana legislature. The state legislature granted women full voting rights in 1914. In 1916, Rankin decided to run for a seat in the U.S. House as a Republican. During the campaign, she advocated for women's suffrage, prohibition, and child protection laws. She was also a pacifist and was against potential U.S. involvement in World War I. She won the election, becoming the first woman elected to Congress. This is especially remarkable since full women's suffrage across the nation was still four years away. After she was sworn into office, she voted against U.S. entry into World War I, one of only 50 members of Congress to do so. She also voted in favor of the 19th Amendment, giving women the right to vote. Because she had voted against World War I, the Montana Republican Party stopped her from running for a second term. Shortly afterwards, she moved to Georgia and became a major advocate for pacifism. In 1940, she ran again for a seat in the U.S. House. Rankin won the seat, but generated controversy when she was the only member of Congress to vote against war with Japan after Pearl Harbor. This ended Rankin's second career in Congress. She retired to private life, but she returned to the national spotlight when she began speaking against the Vietnam War. Rankin was forced to stop public speeches altogether in 1972 due to health problems. She passed away in 1973. Jeanette Rankin made history as a congresswoman by voting for women's suffrage. She also became a well-known figure of her adopted state, Georgia. Thank you.